Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this quick tips video, we'll be taking a look at integrating a smart TV into Home Assistant. Specifically, we'll be looking at the Sony Bravia smart TV range and we're going to be trying to get this done in less than five minutes. So while I roll the intro, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week and let's get started. Now a few weeks ago we decided it was time to upgrade our TV and we bought a new Sony Bravia TV. In this current lockdown, we're spending a bit more time at home on the couch watching TV and movies, so we wanted to improve the experience. The model and the other specs aren't particularly important for the purposes of this video, but what is kind of fun is the fact that we can use this TV and interact with Home Assistant. If we take a quick look at the Home Assistant integrations page and we search for TV, we'll see that the Sony Bravia isn't the only TV that can be integrated into Home Assistant. With LG WebOS TVs, Samsung Smart TVs and Philips TVs all having integrations listed. Now in my case I'm obviously interested in the Sony Bravia TV integration uh, and setting up this integration is a piece of cake. Okay so we're going to head over to Home Assistant and I'm going to go to Configuration, Integrations. I'm going to tap Add Integration on the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to search for Bravia and we'll click on Sony Bravia TV. I'm going to enter the host name. Uh, it says ensure that your TV is turned on because we need that there. I'm going to type in 192.168.1.150 which is the IP address of my TV and you'll see over on the other camera we've already got the TV turned on. I'm going to tap submit and we should get a pin code which is 8690 and I will hit submit on that. And we can now choose an area for it. So in the drop down, I'm going to choose it in the living room and we'll hit finish. So that has got now the Sony Bravia TV uh, installed in Home Assistant. If we head back to our overview and we scroll through here, we'll see the Sony Bravia TV integration here in our menu. And if we click on the three dot stack, we can turn it off and it turns the TV off. If I click the power button again, it will turn the TV back on. We can change our source over to HDMI 1, HDMI 2, uh, and uh, anything that's in here. So we can even hit the YouTube button if we wanted to, uh, and it'll launch the YouTube app on the TV. And we can also now use this integration in our automations. Now, with this particular integration, the Sony Bravia TV integration, the API also lets us send remote commands. So any command that is available on this remote we can send uh, using the API. So if I were to go to developer tools here and then go to services I can search for remote and we want remote send command and if I pick the entity here in targets and I want the Sony Bravia TV remote and we can ignore the device ID um, uh, but what we do want to look at is the command. Now for example we've got TV power we can type in here and if I call that service it's going to toggle the TV off and if I call that service again it's going to turn the TV back on. For a reference of the commands that we can send, if we go to the Home Assistant integrations page and go to Bravia and click on there, we can scroll down and we can see some of the known valid key values. And uh, this is, uh, as it says here, it might depend on the TV model. So we can go uh, volume up, for example, and uh, let's repeat that 10 times. So if I call that service 
and you can see that that has gone through and we'll change that to volume down and we'll bring that back down so that's brought that down to the volume of 10. Now that didn't seem to repeat 10 times, that seemed to only repeat four times. I'm not too sure what the deal is there. Uh, not worry too much about that because things like the volume we can actually use in the three dot stack here. So we can just tap this button here and it will change our volume. Some of the other things we can do here is change the uh, input. Uh, we can go to TV input. We can turn teletext on and off uh, if we need subtitles. Uh, we can uh, also, if I find here, so we've also got explicit access to individual sources. So we've got the HDMI 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I could go back over here, develop tools and HDMI 1 and call that service and we get HDMI 1. I should probably turn the repeats off on that. Uh, HDMI 2, call service and uh, YouTube and call service and that will launch the YouTube app. Uh, we can also do Netflix and call service and that's going to take us to the Netflix app. So that lets us send commands as if we're pressing buttons on the physical remote. So that's integrating a Sony Bravia TV into Home Assistant. Other TVs can be integrated in a very similar way, but they may not have the same functionality. Now that we've got this TV integrated into Home Assistant, we can use it in our automations. For example, we could have the lights change color when the TV turns on or set up a good night scene that makes sure that the TV is off. When we take a look at reactive bias lighting next week, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out by the way, we can actually take the data from this integration to tell whether or not the TV is on or off to then turn the bias lighting on and off depending on the status of the TV. That is all we have for this video and I do hope that it helped you in some way in your home automation journey. Be sure to comment down below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video. And don't forget to follow Hive Mind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing now. While you're at it, you should hit the bell icon so you don't miss out when I release new videos each week. Lastly, HiveMind Automation videos are not sponsored, so if you like what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a Buy Me A Coffee link in the video description down below, and contributions through that Buy Me A Coffee link are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from HiveMind Automation, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.